All right, so here today we have the Ragnarok Festival. We have a new boss over here called... What is their names even, bro? What the fudge? Uh, we have the invaders from Jotunheim, uh... Jalga and Grieb. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that, bro. What the fudge? Beyond this, two new characters, two new bosses, two new villains. I don't know. Uh, with this entire thing, we're gonna be farming a stream. We're gonna be doing it in a very fast manner, and we're gonna be having some fun. So if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe, it helps out a ton. Let's hop into it, and let's break it down. So, first team, we're gonna be using Escanor, we're gonna be using Bond, we're gonna be using Roxy, we're gonna be using Mikasa. Damn it, right, now we fix that, that situation. Now we can check it out, all right? This is a very strong team. Mikasa's relic is busted. So if you pulled for it, remember that I told you the only good character of the collaboration literally is Mikasa. <laughs> it's so sad. It's literally so sad. But beyond that, let's see what we can actually do here. So we have this team over here. You have uh, just all you want to do is just AOE or sorry, not not AOE attack over here. So we're going to attack like this, like this. Uh, we could do this. We could do this. Doesn't really matter. Um, that's gonna be like more than enough damage so realize that now let's do this pop 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 173 with death damage plus roxy's passive kicking in it is a pretty nasty number we have over here 208 we pop this off over here for 119 and then we do this over here for the guaranteed kill remember you can't um like what's the term uh crit so realize that now because you can't debuff so bond is gonna be a little bit more wonky over here but for the most part he should do fine beyond this let's see what we do here we don't have roxy's relic but i don't think it's actually gonna hold us back here <laughs> imagine it does but i don't think so so let's do this okay perfect we'll hit skip here uh we do in fact have this so let's do this 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 um i think that for the most part mikasa will do more damage but I also have no faith in Mikasa. Maybe she crits. Let's see. Do I have faith in Mikasa? We'll find out right now. So we have Roxy over here popping off with a beautiful 208. We have Bon over here popping off with a good amount. Okay, I'm really gonna. I'm really questioning can Mikasa actually do anything? Because she won't crit 100%. Let's see. Yeah, she'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know why I was so scared too. But uh, you can clearly see they did this purposely where they put five buffs on her. So even if you were to just one shot it like that doesn't really do anything you have to wait until the third turn so you clearly see this was a two turn but um sadly we have to wait she'll attack three times but not enough to cancel out all four buffs so um kind of sucks but that's what they did it so what can we do here we go pretty basic not bad and now we just attack and we're done so attack you don't have to do anything cancel these out and you win because we'll kill off the other one pretty basic pretty easy very simple to get through not bad all right so team one Try it out, see how it goes. You can also literally just run a team like this. Just make sure you are eating attack food. You might need attack food on this one. But for the most part, this will also do pretty good damage. Um, again, it's collab oriented, so realize that now. But you don't need Escanor, you don't need anything else. Um, you just need Roxy and these two and you're good to go. But um, yeah, there's always, and here are the replacements. Just use these replacements. If you have LR Escanor, replace any of the humans there with LR Escanor. If you have... Um, if you have Eris, just throw Eris on there. Again, replace anybody with that. It's just a full human team, so any human character that you have will definitely work on this team. Just have her for her for her relic and have her for the attack, because uh, if you do crit, it's gonna be a lot better. Um, so let's do this, let's do this. Let's also do... So we can build Rudy's balls. Calm down. Um, so we can just attack like this, and then we can attack like this. It should be more than enough damage. Um, Eris will crit. So when she does crit, you'll get the uh, the death damage. She will do a decent amount of damage as always, which is pretty nice. She should crit, and here we go. This should do an insane amount of damage because we built up Rudy's balls. Correct? Correct. Here we go. There we go. We can actually do it again now. Um, but yeah, it's orbs. Don't correct me. Okay, calm down. Here we go. Get attacked again. We're fine. Uh, and there we go. She's gonna she's gonna die right here real quick. Perfect. Not bad. Nice. Here we go. Any second now. Bomb. Good. Good to go. And yeah. Yeah. Let's see how this does. Let's skip. Now let's do this. 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 Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Maybe we don't kill here, actually. Can Rudus do it? Rudus is just that guy. <laughs> he can do it. So it's basically done here. You know what to do after this. So I don't want to like waste your time. So people gonna be like, oh, he did clear. I'll show it to you. It's, it's literally two seconds worth of work. But she'll attack three times. That's always how it goes. Again, 
any human works on the team, just have a human. It's like it's even the case that if you don't have her, just run like Death Pierce on bench and you'll be fine. Literally, you will be fine. You don't need her, but she does really help out a ton. So Death Pierce and allow those crits uh, to go through more, um, or just run Rain Rock Bond again. Up to you, but that just works perfectly fine, right? So again, let me just this time I have to attack two times, not one time. So. Let me do that, and then I'll just cancel out the other two. But yeah, it's very easy. You know this. As soon as that finished screen comes through, I'll show you the last team, and then we're done with the video here. But um, there you go. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Now, again, it does not matter. Just run any team that has single targets that are strong, and you will basically clear this. So again, it might not be a three turn, but it will sure as hell clear regardless. It is not a hard boss by any means. So again, if you need to be forced to run this team, just run this team, it doesn't matter. Any character that can hit hard. Again, you probably have LR Escanor because a lot of people crafted him. So instead of ultimate Escanor, you have LR Escanor. Even blue Escanor works. Remember, there is also a type advantage there. So it might actually help you a crap ton also. But again, we can just do this. We can just do this. We can just do this. And this over here. And it should still be enough might not kill here and there you might have to you know use an extra round but it's fine who really cares so there you go again you're not critting because you're losing the buffs on mikasa or rather from mikasa's relic but um for the most part this will still clear um may take you a little bit of time correct doesn't really matter just go through it you have all single targets if any character has a single target you're good to go it's not like you need to run a specific team but yes for the most part you clearly saw that um that one was significantly faster hence why i think Everyone said it when I said get Mikasa. That's the only character you need. So I'd rather you get Mikasa the 600 pity than actually get Eren. That's why I said it. Because she's actually very useful for PvE content. So, you know. Depends on what you did. If you didn't do it, who cares? Doesn't matter. Uh, you, you'll, 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 you'll revive yourself later on. Doesn't doesn't really uh, affect you an insane amount. It affects you a bit, but not an insane amount. So, let's do this. Over here. It's gonna, it's gonna crit. Who cares? It's gonna get through this. We should definitely kill here. No worries. Um, there we go. Get the death damage off. 186. Get this off over here for 46. It might not kill. No, it'll kill. By the way, my Freyr does not have his uh, relic. If Freyr had his relic here, he'd be in a much better uh, position. I have to craft it. I'm just too lazy to. <laughs> I crafted uh, Elvimeli's, uh, Freya's, and somebody else's. And then I forgot about him. I have the, the, the materials to do it. I just haven't done it yet. But here we go. Again, stalling a little bit. Like, let's just grab cards here for other characters. Let's grab his ult also. Screw it. There you go. There you go. Again, it doesn't matter. Use any character. It is not like it's a hard boss. Just make them have single targets. Make them do a lot of damage. Eskimo is recommended. Uh, Roxy is very good. Like, if you don't, if you don't have um, Mikasa, that team still works. Just run, like, Death Pierce on the bench. Or... or other bond that that right rock bond right that still perfectly works so you're not restricted by any means to a specific team comp that has to be run yeah it's good to have them but it'll still be like a, maybe a four turn if it works yeah so just know that but getting through this again you can see it's very simple and very straightforward there you go and she's dead basically right you you know what's gonna happen after this so very easy, very fun boss. Get through it. Again, if you auto it, you're gonna run you're gonna need to run all AoEs because the AI ends up uh, targeting this character. So if you wanna auto this, you have to have to have to run all AoE characters and hope that they kill constantly. Like that's gonna have to happen, alright? So just know that, but took all that damage, she still is gonna have that one buff, so we're gonna have to kill ourselves. But that's just how it is. Pretty basic. She has that one buff. Ult and you're done. Yeah. Easy, simple, thanks for watching, take care, and have fun. Hope you enjoyed that video.